Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Now, Colorado completed their first training camp in the start of the Coach Prime era. These practices that you see now are geared to prepare for TCU on September 2nd, so it's game time. Coach Prime's oldest son, Deion Sanders Jr., aka Bucky, who is responsible for sharing this wonderful footage that we always see, captured a very powerful moment in practice between Coach Prime and Alton McCaskill. This, in my opinion, highlights the point that Coach Prime is more than just a coach. But we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. I want to take this time to say I really appreciate what Well Off Media Reach the People Media and the pregame show brings to the table. As a matter of fact, check out all the links in my description. All of the players that have YouTube channels, you're going to find that in the description as well as Well Off Media, Reach the People Media and the pregame show. I really like what they're bringing to the table because you really feel like you're a part of the team. You see the daily ongoings of the team and it's just the way they record it. You just they, you just feel like you're right there. And in my opinion, Deion Sanders Jr., a.k.a. Bucky, he's doing more than just recording the happenings of the team. He's a documentarian. Do you agree? He's, he's like a documentarian. Well, he is a documentarian. That's what he's doing. He's documenting a moment in time. And Bucky captured a very powerful moment between Coach Prime and Alton McCaskill. Now, Alton, he wanted to know when that yellow caution jersey is going to come off. This is what he inquired to Coach Prime. And I think he feels like he's ready for the action. He, he wants that yellow jersey off. He don't want to be cautioned anymore. He's ready to go. And I think he's feeling pretty good. And then here's the moment. Coach Prime, he said a few things to him. He said, look, this is life. And then he said, you're trying to shoot a commercial, but I want to see the full movie. One time I get out, this right here. You ain't ready. Coach. Oh. Yo, do I need you to break you? I need you Hey, yo, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a you trying to shoot a commercial. I want to see a movie. <laughs> right? I don't want to see a commercial from you. I want to see the movie. Right, right. I know you feel good right now, but after you feel good, you got to give it more time. Because now you feel good. Now how does it respond? So are you sore afterwards? All you got to go through, all that stuff. I want you to feel good like that for a week straight. How you feel right now? Yes, he want to see the full movie. Wasn't that a great moment that um, Deion Sanders Jr. Um, highlighted? He want to see the full movie. He said, listen, son, I know you're ready, but we need to give it a little time because I know what you can do. Coach Prime knows what Alton McCaskill can do. He's, he's seen the highlights when he was at Houston. And Alton McCaskill, he's a transfer. But he's seen the highlight. He know what this kid can do. But he, he's moving them along. He said, we're going to you're going to see the action. But we we just moving with caution right now to make sure that you 100 percent. And once you 100 percent, trust me, you're going to get on that field. And I like an Alton McCaskill to a all purpose back. He can do it all. And he's very physical as well. Them highlights in Houston. Um, If you go on YouTube and just type in Alton McCaskill highlights, you're going to see his freshman campaign was all of that in a bag of chips. But what did Coach Prime mean by that? He said, listen, you're trying to shoot a commercial. I want to see the full movie. He said, I want your full potential. I want, he said, he, Coach Prime already know what he can do for, for the um, Colorado Buffaloes this season. That's what Coach want. He said, this stuff in practice, you trying to prove yourself. And he said, showcase and for the other play. No, I need you for the season. Because he know big things are coming from Alton McCaskill. Now, Travis Hunter is a player that doesn't know how to get tired, right? He doesn't know what getting tired is all about. He wants to stay in the game for each and every single down in that game. And he will be playing both sides of the ball, both um, cornerback and wide receiver. Now, during the last scrimmage, um, uh, Travis was itching to get into the action. Guys, you lucky like <laughs> Talk to Mr. Ruff, man. I'm ready to go back to moving the ball now. I ain't know you could choke in football. <laughs> Talk to Mr. Ruff. Guys, he was so ready to get back into the game and move the ball. He said he would resort to playing tight end and blocking if he had to. What you say? I go to tight end, bro. I block some shit. I don't get Hey, did you hear that coach, Tim Brewster? Travis can do it all. He will block for you. Instead of sitting on the sidelines, 
put him in that tight end and let the kid block. Let him catch a pass. He even said it, even though I know they're not going to put him in tight end. But, you know, they're just saving. They're just resting their starters. They know they know what Travis can do. And um, that's why he was just sitting there, I'm sure. And actually, he did play in that scrimmage. But, you know, there was times where they took people out to, um, you know, preserve them, you know, because this is a long season. That's what I want to say to Travis. This is a long season. And trust me, you're going to get every opportunity to be on that field. September uh, 2nd is fast approaching. Believe it. We have one more weekend, guys, before the season opener against TCU on September 2nd. The players look ready and in shape. I expect great things to happen this year. I expect a lot of great things to happen this year. And um, that's just me being positive, man. Uh, why not? Why not expect big things happen to happen this year with this team? We all know the wide receiver room is locked and loaded and ready to go with speed. You know, they got maturity. They got the skills to pay the bills. We already know that. We know that offensive line is game ready. They ready to go. There's some tough boys on that offensive line. I'm not I'm no longer worried about them. I actually I was never worried about them. But again, to be fair, we only see small clips of their practices but trust me these these coaches got them ready the defensive line is so loaded that we can listen the deep not the defensive line the defense itself as a whole is so loaded we can sub players in and out of the game all day long and i'm expecting them to run the opposing teams into the ground by the fourth quarter watch and see bet me on it by the fourth quarter see this is the thing that's why coach prime was running them like he was you know, they have the benefit of practicing in that altitude and running full blast. Just imagine when they get in the game, they're going to feel like it's easy because during the game, it's not going to be a 100 percent move at all times. You know, there's going to be time for there's going to be a lot of stoppages, like as far as timeouts, uh, maybe the ball, they, the breath want to see if they did get the first down. You know, you're going to stop for that. They're going to have a couple TV timeouts. You know, they're going to be featured on Fox. You know, the game is just not going to be how they were in practice, just 100% go all the time. It's just Coach Prime know that he need them in supreme conditioning. Because, you know, one of, this is just how I think. There's one thing, you know, on both sides, they have athletic players on both sides. Both sides have, have size and speed, right? It's who wants it. That's what it's going to come down to. It's a mental game. But on top of that, added to that, who is in supreme condition? By the you know, when Coach Prime was playing, I keep mentioning this. It could be the fourth quarter of the game, and he can run back a punt like he was fresh. That's why nobody could catch him. Like by the fourth quarter, these pe these players are running to the ground, and he's still going. You know, it just shows that he was in supreme conditioning. And also, he had the skills, too, to elude people from trying to tackle him. You know, you can't teach 4-3 speed. You can only approve upon it. But um, Dylan Edwards had 4-3 speed. I honestly believe they're going to use him. That running back room looks really good. It looks really deep. You know, Alta McCaskill is itching to take that jersey off. You know, you got Dylan Edwards is um, proving that he can do some big things this year. I, I, I would love to see them throw to him in the flat, you know, and put on his best rendition of the Rocket Raheeb Ishmael. You know, some of my old folks, you know about Notre Dame and the Rocket Raheeb Ishmael. He had a brother named Quadri Israel Ishmael. They call him the um, the missile. And then he had a little brother named Solomai. They call him the bomb. And you know what they call his mom? They call her the launch pad <laughs> because she... Um, birthed all this speed yeah they call her their, his mom the launch pad but come on man you guys remember the rocket raheeb ishmael you know what i'm saying it's just um dylan it's that four three speed you can't teach it man you just can't teach it but um they're gonna use them and like i said they got Cavarcier smoke you know savion wilkerson you know he can run it up he's a, a bruising back he can get it done like I said, Dylan, Dylan got the size. Alton McCaskill was Mr. All-Purpose. Hell, put Travis Hunter at running back if he needs to get in the game so bad. No, I'm just kidding. But they ready to go, man. They ready to go. Um, I like what I'm seeing so far. What say you? Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.